Hi everybody, welcome back to Fragmental, thanks for joining me. In this review, I'm going to be taking a look at Bleu de Chanel EDP. Stay tuned to FM. Okay, so first of all, I just need to apologise for not finding a better location. I was hoping to find somewhere really befitting of a blue marine aquatic scent, but unfortunately, all I could come up with was this, so I'll try harder next time. So, Bleu de Chanel EDP sits in the middle of the range. You've got the Eau de Toilette and also the Parfum on either side of this, but the Eau de Parfum came out in 2014 and I smelled all three of these fragrances and to be honest they did smell quite similar to me i don't think one really stood out from the rest in terms of it being a much better scent yes the parfum smelt a little stronger and the eau de toilette smelt uh, a little lighter but but zestier i really enjoyed aspects of all of them in the end i went for the edp concentration just because usually i find that edps have that great balance of performance and projection when I picked this one up, I did try to get samples of the other two concentrations, but apparently, according to the sales assistant, Chanel don't do samples, so thanks Chanel. If this was a comparison video, it would probably be getting way more views. So let's get into talking about the scent. Have a little spray. So I've been wearing this now for around about two weeks and I've been really digging in deep and trying to analyze the scent. And the opening is dominated by the citruses. So you've got a lemon, grapefruit bergamot but it's really smooth they're not sharp tart citruses there is some weight to them there's some depth and a lovely sweetness as well so a really nice rounded opening in the mid there's notes of mint coriander nutmeg i maybe get hints of those but to be honest i don't really get a strong suggestion of those notes to me my nose takes me straight to the base, just a few minutes after spraying this fragrance. You've got some woods in there, there's some sandalwood and cedar, and there's also amber and incense. And the woods are just providing a lovely depth. The sandalwood adds a nice creaminess. There's a, a lovely sweetness here, which I sometimes find in cedar-based scents, that it uh, almost gives this lovely resinous sweetness. You've also got uh, the amber. Amber is always gonna provide a great bit of depth to a fragrance and round a fragrance out really nicely. And the incense just gives it that nice little bit of interesting punchiness off the skin as well. So all those notes give this scent a great depth and a really nice robustness, which does separate it from a lot of other lighter blue summery scents. So do I like this scent? Yes, I do. I really like this scent. I think it's classy, it's refined, elegant, masculine. I love the depth that it has. But unfortunately, I don't love this scent. For me, it's not really doing anything interesting enough to, to really excite me. If a scent is coming off as a bit generic and a bit shower gel, then it's not really wowing me in the way that really great scents do. A Chanel fragrance that does have that effect on me that I find addictive and I love to wear and it's versatile, works in all situations. More versatile perhaps I would say than this one is Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. The depth of the woods and the tonka bean in that, the citruses in the opening just really give it a scent DNA that, uh, that does actually wow me. So I would wear Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme any day of the week over Bleu de Chanel. Okay, so what's the versatility like on this? It's pretty versatile. I'd say it's unisex. It can be worn by any age and it could be worn at any time of year, although I do think it would work better in warmer seasons. In terms of when to wear this, it could pretty much be worn in any situation, but due to its slightly unremarkable generic composition, it would work really well as a casual day scent or maybe even a workplace scent. This is a pretty good solid release from Chanel, but in my opinion, just a little bit safe. It's kind of nice, it's kind of okay, but it's kind of not a masterpiece. But please sample it because you may really kind of love it. Okay, that's enough from me. I'm off to fire my location scout. So once again, sorry about this crap location, 
Please let me know what you think of this scent. Have you tried the EDP? Have you tried the EDT and the Parfum? Let me know what you think the differences are if you've tried all three. I'd love to hear your comments down below. Please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell to enable notifications. And until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good. No, it was crap. There weren't even any dolphins in the background or a pirate ship. But a few pirates have been too much to ask for pity's sake. <sighs> Jeremy would have got pirates. Shiver me timbers. Okay, yeah, I know you found me a pirate ship, but too little, too late. You're still fired. <laughs> no. Nope. No. 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 That's not a picture, that's a video. You are drunk. Seriously? Stay tuned to FM.